All right, so we start under the baseline at the pinky, tapping on the side of the hand, karate chop point. Even though I'm distressed about being in a bigger body right now and feel some shame around it, I deeply love and completely accept myself. Even though I'm distressed about being in a bigger body now, I do feel shame. In this moment, I love myself. I completely accept myself. Even though my body is bigger again, the shame has come in again, I'm determined to love myself. I accept myself. I approve of myself. Let's go to the crown. Okay, here's this big body, too much weight, shame, shame, shame thing. I know it well. inner eyebrow, I'm capable of really hating this body. Outer eye, and that can turn into hating my whole self. Under the eye. The shame feels really bad and really old. Like there's just something terribly not okay about me. Under the nose. In practical terms, I don't like how I feel in this body. I don't like how my movements are affected. Chin point. Or how much I can do. How much energy I have. Okay, under the collarbone round. And the trickiness with food and the food I need and the food I want, the food that comforts me, it all feels so complex. And it's full of shame. Side of the ribs at the bra strap point. I really don't like it when I berate myself. I don't want to be awful to myself. And still this whole thing feels awful sometimes. All right, let's go to the crown. A part of me just wants to very quickly change all of this. And I also know that's not how it works. Inner eyebrow. And I don't want to get stuck in the despair that it's going to take forever. Outer eye. Or worse, that it's just not possible to change this body. Under the eye. Or maybe the worst thing is that it'll go down and back up again. Under the nose. I'd like to 
not feel urgent about the whole thing. Chin point. The urgency itself feels bad and activates a, a, a trauma response. under the clavicle. I'd like to accept my body as it is now. Just start with acceptance. This is how my body is now. Side of the ribs. I haven't always been this way. I don't need to stay this way. Crown point. And I know change always happens better when I accept where I am right now first. Inner eyebrow. I'm not sure how to accept myself in this body. but I'm open to the concept. Outer eye. I'm willing to let in acceptance where it right now isn't. Under the eye. I'm willing to imagine that the universe has an abundance of acceptance. That source is endlessly accepting. Under the nose. So I can let, I can accept that for myself. And right now I just breathe in the acceptance that wants to flow in. Chin point. And right now from acceptance, I reach to love. Acceptance and love are cousins, they hold hands. Maybe I could love myself in this body. Under the clavicle, I wanna remember right now that I don't need to know how. Not how to accept, how to love, how to change the body. I'm just open. I'm willing to get to the space of allowing. Right now I breathe at that possibility. Side of the ribs. I appreciate that this weight is trying to shield me. It's trying to pad me from life's harshness. It's trying to and please fill in whatever else you know it's trying to do. Or repeat one of the other ones. Back to the crown. And I know that I can learn to create that padding in healthier ways. That actually feel better. inner eyebrow. That's another thing I don't need to figure all out right now. Outer eye. But I'm open to having it reveal itself. 
as I go. Under the eye, all that I need comes to me. All I need to know is revealed to me. Under the nose. And when I thought I needed food to pad myself, I had that food. Chin point. And I have access to better food that nourishes me better. Under the clavicle. And I have access to information about better ways to feed myself. And tastier ways to create healthy food. Side of the ribs. I don't need to take all the pleasure out of eating. I'd like to receive that pleasure more consciously, more slowly. Crown. I'd like that pleasure to hold hands with healthiness more. Inner eyebrow. I'd like to eat so slowly and consciously and pleasurably that I can really notice when I've had enough. outer eye, and I'd like to acknowledge that human beings crave like constant craving, KD Lang song, under the eye, and there can't be shame in the constant craving It's human reality. All humans reality. Under the nose. Sometimes I'd like to sit with my craving without fulfilling it. Chin point. Sometimes I'd like to redirect my focus to something that's actually more fun or something that actually feels better or something that's beautiful or funny or creative or expansive. Under the clavicle, and when I eat too much, and maybe even too much of the wrong things, I'd like to walk myself out of that kindly. Side of the ribs. I'd like to reparent myself lovingly. I'd like to give myself soothing messages and then empowering you can do it messages. No more shaming messages. No more slapping myself like a bad parent. Crown. Self-abandonment, no more. 
I'm going to do one more round. This could be a point of pause, but I'm going to do one more round and we'll stop on the next crown. So uh, inner eyebrow. As soon as I'm able to interrupt any old thing I'm doing, I'll interrupt it. Outer eye. And that means if I couldn't interrupt any actual eating, I could still interrupt how I'm talking to myself about it. I could soothe myself under the eye. I could remember the pain that launched the eating. whether it's old pain or new pain, under the nose. And I can also reach for the tools to really be with that pain. Be with my thoughts about the pain. And be with body and breath to stretch and soothe and ease the pain. chin point and there were times when I've been immobile or when I go immobile and it made sense to be inactive or less active under the clavicle and right now I release the shame about that and I state my preference for a moving body that does as much as it can do, that stretches how much it can do. Side of the ribs. Right now I state my preference for very good breathing oxygenation and I know I can get that through yoga and easy things I mean by easy I mean low key and I can get it through aerobics or more strenuous things and I can choose and I can scooch And I can make much of any small thing I do. Okay, finishing on the crown. Right now, I'm willing to be in the body I'm in now. To be alive right now. This is the vessel that allows that for me. And I acknowledge that from a place of acceptance, I can move toward any reality I want. And our life is about journeys, not endpoints. And I'm willing to be on this journey. Everybody has shame to meet and release. I will meet my shame and learn to release it through this body. And I'm willing to be on this journey of minding my cravings, accepting that as part of human reality. And I'm willing to be on this journey of choosing my focus. And I'm willing to be on this journey of walking myself through more and more kindly. I love myself, I accept myself, I approve of myself. Now invitation to drop your hands down and cup one inside the other, just drop, just let them be on your lap and breathe. And take in the quality of the breath. 
and feel into the reverberations of the tapping. And let yourself just sort of steep in and receive the new messaging. And notice whether you like better how you feel now or how you felt before. And you can open or even commit to spending more time with the messages that actually allow you to move toward all that you want to be, do, and have. 